Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're gonna to teach you a recipe that we're calling Twice Smoked Potatoes. Okay, so we have about 10 extra, extra large baking potatoes, and we pick these up at our local Sam's Club or Costco, and these things are enough for two people, pretty much. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna cut them in half once we've actually baked them, and we're gonna make them like twice-baked potatoes. Almost everybody's heard of twice-baked potatoes, except we're gonna do the second half of this cook on the smoker and give a little bit of smoke to these twice baked potatoes, okay? So that's the idea. So we've taken these potatoes, we've cleaned them up, we've made sure that they're nice and ready to go, and we want the outside of these potatoes to be nice and crisp and hearty. We don't actually want to steam the outsides or we don't want to make it so that they're nice and, and, uh, and soft. We want these to be nice and crispy so they can withstand the pressure of scooping out the insides so we can mix it with all kinds of yummy things and actually make that twice smoked potato recipe. So we're going to start by throwing these in the oven and we're going to put them in the oven to get started. And then once they're fully baked and we can put a fork in without any resistance, that's when we're going to cut them in half and scoop them out. Stick with us. You're going to want to try this one. So we've taken these potatoes and we've baked them in the oven until they're nice and soft and they're fork tender. But the whole idea is we want to let them cool off just a little bit so we can handle them without burning our hand, but we don't want them to get all the way cold before we actually cut into them and scoop them out. If you actually wait till they get all the way cold, the, the potatoes on the inside will get gummy and then they end up not whipping really, really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this potato and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut straight through it and cut it in half and basically make potato boats out of these potatoes. So I'm just gonna take my knife and go right through here, cut these right in half. The idea being we're just gonna make little potato boats that we can get onto the smoker and they'll be full of delicious twice smoked potato. So that's the idea. <clears throat> Getting it cut open about like that, then we're just gonna grab a spoon and we're gonna hollow these out so we can make some yummy twice smoked potatoes. All right, so we've scooped out the insides of these potatoes so we can put all of this deliciousness inside. And we've got it so that basically all of this potato is ready to be mashed. And we're gonna go ahead and start with some of these ingredients. We have some butter, we have some chives, green onion, a little bit of sour cream. Of course, you need some bacon. And we're gonna wrap it all together with a little bit of cheese. So this is what's gonna go inside our potato mixture. And all we're gonna do is just start with the basics. I'm going to start with some butter. Then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of chives. And then we're going to go ahead and go through and we'll add some green onions to the mix. A little bit of sour cream. Then with the bacon, we're going to go ahead and add these bacon bits in here. But what's going to make these twice smoked potatoes is that we're going to smoke some bacon to put on the top of these as well. But we're going to start with some bacon bits right inside the potato. And then we're going to add our cheese. As we add our cheese, we're just going to sprinkle this in here, make it nice and cheesy so this can bake all in. But you know we're going to top these with some cheese as well. We've got all our ingredients in, and last but not least, we're going to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to give it a little extra moisture so this can really become those creamy potatoes that are going to fit perfect back in those boats that we just made out of the potato skins. So we've got the potatoes all whipped up and nice, so what we're going to do is we're going to take them and put them back in the boats and get them ready to go out on the smoker. Now that we've got the potatoes back in, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle them with cheese and get these things back out on the smoker. 
So we've got these ready to go on the smoker. We're gonna put these on at about 300 degrees in about 45 minutes. They should be golden brown and delicious. All right, these potatoes have been on the grill for just about an hour and let's find out how they're looking. Check out how those things look. Those are those twice smoked potatoes and oh my word, how good does that look? That cheese is crispy. They are ready to go. We're gonna take those inside, get these things ready. So we've got these twice smoked potatoes off of the smoker. They've had a second to cool. And over here for dinner, I've got Jason from the Barbecue Lab who's joining us. I was able to talk him into being here on the, on the video with me here at the end. And we're gonna try these and see how they taste. All right, you ready? Ready when you are. All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. All right, cheers. Wow. Mm. That is a smoky, smoky potato. Yeah, you could really taste the the pecan in it. So they've smoked it on the pecan, on the on the. You get it on the Lone Star. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can really get a really good flavor profile to it. It's not overpowering, but it's got a real good smoke flavor to it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm happy. <clears throat> I'm just gonna say, I'm loving the bacon that comes through. But remember how we went and smoked that bacon? So we'd have these twice smoked potatoes. We're just gonna take a little bit of this second smoked bacon, add this to it, see if this takes it up a notch. Oops, we'll need that for later. Or not, we don't have to share. Mm. Mm. That's the stuff right there. Yeah, that is awesome. Good All job. I gotta say, you gotta try this recipe at home. If you need instructions, Head to thebarbecuelab.com. We've got this exact recipe on our website and you can make it at home. Try it this weekend, amaze your friends, and really, really win your weekend. We look forward to seeing you next time on The Barbecue Lab.